These changes follow quick on the heels of those applied to the four-door S-Class. As with the sedan, the non-AMG two-door V8 models, formerly badged S550, have been rechristened S560 and given Mercedes-Benz's ubiquitous twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8. Replacing the twin-turbo 4.7-liter V8, the new engine stirs up 463 horsepower, a gain of 14, and the same 516 pounds to foot of torque. The engine also benefits from a fuel-saving cylinder deactivation feature that shuts down half of the cylinders under light loads, although only in the coupe version, not the cabrio. The S560 coupe comes standard with 4MATIC all-wheel drive, but the S560 cabriolet is strictly rear-wheel drive. A very similar, in this case hand-built, twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 makes its way into the Mercedes-AMG S63 this year, where it produces a mighty 603 horsepower and 664 pounds to foot of torque. Here again, the 4.0-liter provides a gain in horsepower, 26 ponies, to be exact, but its peak torque remains the same as the engine it replaces, a twin-turbo 5.5-liter V8. Mercifully, last year's at times jerky 7-speed automatic transmission, fitted with a multiplate clutch connecting it to the engine, is gone. In its place sits an impeccably behaved version of the same 9-speed automatic used in the S560, although with a clutch pack coupler. All-wheel drive remains standard on the S63 coupe and cabriolet, but the system has more control over torque distribution than the outgoing setup. That nifty trick compelled Mercedes to rebrand this version as 4MATIC Plus. Mechanically, the 12-cylinder Mercedes-AMG S65 remains the same. That's not entirely a bad thing, given the twin-turbocharged V12 S621 horsepower and 738 pounds to foot of torque. The only downsides to the S65 are its occasionally clunky 7-speed automatic transmission, here with a conventional torque converter, and the lack of an all-wheel drive option. Both can be blamed on the V12 S mountain of torque which is too great for any other Mercedes transmission or all-wheel drive transfer case to handle. In spite of their new engines, the S560 and the S63 motor down the road much like their predecessors. The 4.0-liter V8 offers snappier throttle response than the ultra-smooth 4.7 and 5.5-liter engines it replaces. And we tip our cap to the S63's 9-speed automatic transmission, which exhibits none of the low-speed slipping sensations, occasional gear change stumbles, or laggard responses to manual shifts of the 7-speed unit. We suspect the S560 and the S63, like their four-door siblings, will be slightly quicker in our testing. The freshened S65 won't be, and it likely will again be slower than the $70,000 less expensive S63 due to its greater mass and lack of launch aiding all-wheel drive traction. Every two-door S-Class otherwise remained smoother than melted butter poured over a Teflon mattress. Setting the adaptive suspension to its Sport, Sport Plus, or, on the AMGs only, race modes adds barely a whiff of starch to the baseline comfort ride. They're all quiet, too, even the cabriolet models, at least when their triple-layer acoustically lined cloth tops are raised. Those lids block out enough noise to convince you that you're riding in a fixed-roof car, they also can be powered up and down at speeds up to 31 miles per hour in as little as 20 seconds. As before, the cabriolet can effectively nix most front-seat wind buffeting at highway speeds with the top lowered thanks to a power-deploying rear wind blocker and a pop-up air deflector that runs across the windshield tether. A manually installed secondary wind blocker that covers the rear seats further helps preserve hairdos but generates a fair bit of noise. 